In this problem, we have a function negative 2 times the cosine of x plus 1. And we're being asked to solve uh, this equation and these inequalities. We're also told that our interval is 0 to pi. Let's go ahead and work uh, each of these out. So solution. First, let's do uh, part A. So to do part A, we basically take the function and set it equal to 0. So negative 2 cosine x plus 1. And this is equal to 0. All right, because we have a single trig function, that's not so bad. We can subtract 1 from both sides. So we have negative 2 cosine x. And that's equal to negative 1. Because the cosine function is being multiplied by negative 2, we can undo that by dividing by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. So we have cosine of x. And that's equal to 1 over 2. All right, so now we just have to think, what are the values of x such that uh, the cosine of x is 1 half, where we're between 0 and 2 pi? Well, one obvious answer from memory, this is just from memory, is pi over 3. That's one of the answers. Now we're looking for another angle, okay, another angle where um, the cosine of that angle is 1 half, and that angle has to have a reference angle of pi over 3. So now you think, okay, this is positive. So where is cosine positive? Right here, at pi over 3, and then right here in quadrant 4. So what is the angle that is in quadrant 4 and has a reference angle of pi over 3? Well, if this is your reference angle, right here, pi over 3, what is this angle here? That's the answer. Well, to figure it out, just think of 2 pi as an angle over 3. So 2 pi is actually 6 pi over 3. So you just take 6 pi over 3 and you subtract pi over 3 and that gives you 5 pi over 3. So the other angle is x equals 5 pi over 3. Okay, so now we can do the other parts, part b and part c. To do these, I'm going to rewrite our function down here since I scrolled down and lost it. So f of x is equal to negative 2 cosine x plus 1. And I'm going to draw a number line. So here's our number line. And then we're including, um, we're including 0. Actually, we're not including. Uh, it's a strict inequality, so but I'll, I'll include it just in case. And um, then we, are, we have 2 pi here. Yeah, so we, we might actually uh, use 0. And we plot our numbers, so pi over 3, and then here we have uh, 5 pi over 3. Then you just pick test points. Uh, you can pick any number you like, um, and then you just figure out if it's positive or negative. So for example, a nice number between 0 and pi over 3 would be pi over 4. That's smaller than pi over 3. So let's plug it into our function, f of pi over 4 is equal to negative 2 cosine of pi over 4 and then plus 1. So that's negative 2 times the square root of 2 over 2 plus 1. So that's negative square root of 2 plus 1. That's, that's negative because the square root of 2 is bigger than 1. So this is going to be negative. I'm just going to put neg negative. How about a nice number between um, 0 and um, uh, between pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3, rather. Uh, how about pi over 2? So f of pi over 2, that would be negative 2 cosine pi over 2 plus 1. And the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so this would be negative 2 times 0 plus 1, so you just get 1. So this would be positive. And last but not least, we need an angle between 5 pi over 3 and 2 pi. I'm thinking maybe something like um, 11 pi over 6 is probably the best we can do. And let's see, that would be negative 2 cosine 11 pi over 6. Falling off the screen here, plus 1 equals negative 2. Uh, the cosine of 11 pi over 6 um, is the square root of 3 over 2. And that's plus 1. So that's equal to negative root 3 
plus 1, and root 3 is bigger than 1, so this is negative. So did that pretty fast. You know, you can use a calculator, I guess, to do all of this. Most people probably do. So now we can write the answers where it's less than 0. So for part B, it's less than 0, so that would be uh, bracket 0 to pi over 3, and also uh, 5 pi over 3 to 2 pi. And then for part C, that's where it's positive. That would just be uh, pi over 3. Right, wait, rather, it's negative. Oh, I did them backwards. So this would be, sorry, this is part C, and this is part B. And then positive would be pi over 3 to 5 pi over 3. All right, this is negative, and this is, this is positive. And that's it.